I know that you've got nothing but hatred for the white man. My father was white. It don't change the fact that I need your help. I was drug in the jail and brutalized for a charge that I wasn't guilty of. When I escaped, I killed a man in the process. Well, I feel that he will talk with me. I feel that he'll talk with me. I know just how you feel about it. You've got nothing but hatred for the white man. My father was white. It don't change the fact that I need your help. Well, I feel he'll talk with me. I was in uh, jail for a charge that I did not commit. Brutalized in jail. And by escape, I kill a man in the process. Now, I'm on the run. And I need his help for uh, transportation. He can help me. And I feel that he's willing to. Okay, if the law comes here, all you've got to do is tell him the truth. I wasn't invited here. Tell them that. But I hope to be long gone before the law ever gets here. It's never been good between you. turn myself in. So much jail time, self-appointed lawyer, and possibly prison time. If not, the death sentence. No, uh, I choose not to settle things that way. I feel that uh, I was a good investigator before I retired. And I've got a pretty good eye to what's going on. I failed it. I didn't get enough evidence to clear myself, but I don't have to have time to do it. I know that I'm on the wall. I know things look bad. But if you'd have just give me the time Come up with some evidence to give you the evidence you need to push it to the next level. As much help as you need, and whatever you need to do, I need the time. Give me the time, and uh, I fail, then we get to the guilty party. Okay, give me one information that you know. I'll cooperate with you and we'll compare notes and maybe we can come up with a real killer. And if I fail 
and we come up with the crew killer. And we got enough information to have this man indicted. I will turn myself in. What I'm saying, officer, uh, you can arrest me now. Call your man in here, and it's a good chance. But I'm not going to have time to escape. But I'll just be working together. We can come up with enough evidence to bring the guilty party to justice. Spruces up, goes his homecomings. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a split personality. Well, really, I think that he's about as interested in church as I am flying out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but but it, makes, it makes him look good. Well, from what I've been told, his buddies up with these church mm -hmm. people and uh, give a little work to do around the mm -hmm. house, and then uh, he won't work but so much. Oh, well, I know that. So he'll uh, work just enough to attract their attention, and then uh, he'll welch on them for a week oh, or two, yeah. or longer. Yeah, he does, he, he does that real good. He's an expert at that. And then uh, he uses his judge for when to get out before he gets a bad name. Mm -hmm. That's right. He just works it and goes from here to there doing that same thing. He wears himself out in one place, and... Gets people a little suspicious and then it just moves on. Well, I really hate that you may feel this way, but it's not my choice, it's not my doing. No, uh, I'm not going to turn myself in. So much jail time, self-appointed lawyer, and possibly prison time, if not the death sentence. No, uh, I choose not to settle things that way. Well now, uh, just how lucky do you feel? It's just like uh, one day it could be my last. There's no guarantee that I'll make it out of the county. Or I'll be on the move. You know, uh, I think I can gather more information by just uh, 
been around the people and listen to them talk like I'm well less just I, I suspect somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, they tell me one story one day and one the next. Now mm -hmm. what would you suggest? How do I talk to people like that? Especially in the bar. Well, you need to get them off to the side and and uh, not have them around a crowd of people. Get them over to one side, just one on one, you and them. And, and a lot of times they'll tell more than they would. They'll open themselves up more than they would being around a, another a group of people. So you need to move them away and, and do a conversation with them off to the side. It's the more information I found out on Jim Benson. He liked uh, talking with women, uh, confining with them, having them confining him. Women were problems. Mm -hmm. He capitalized on that. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying is now, him and uh, Mr. Howard, they have been seen together. That could have been a coincidence. Uh -huh. But uh, what? If Mr. Howard's wife confined in Jim Benson, possible. What if uh, Mr. Howard calls him together? Mm. That's possible. So uh, what I'm saying is, who's the real missing person, Mr. Howard or Jim Benson? The information that I've gathered is that uh, Mr. Howard moved from Maryland to Virginia. Yet before he moved, uh, well, he had a sidewalk put in, paved. Mm -hmm. Now, well, uh, Jim Benson, he's had a uh, work with the construction crew with well, mixing cement. Mm. And he has experience in that. He's actually helped churches <laughs> just for so long. Yeah. Now what I'm saying is if we can track down Mr. Howard's residence in Virginia, mm -hmm. I feel that either Mr. Howard is in Virginia living with his wife, or he's under that uh, paved sidewalk. What do you think? That's interesting. It's possible. Very possible. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? newspapers if that's true. Big time. Well, uh, I'm going to go check it out. But I do want to thank you for informing me first. 
So, Investigator Lane, it looks like you caught up with me. Looks like that's the end of me. So, what you're telling me is you got this man that strangled this woman. It don't change the fact I was brutalized in jail. I tried to escape. His physical strength, the man attacked me, and I rebelled against him. I don't know. I just don't get. I just don't get it. I don't know what my boy did this time. Uh, but I tell you. I didn't raise my boy to be like that. But I I know he's got a mean streak from time to time. But I don't want it to go too far. So what you're saying, you got evidence that uh, this woman I'm staying with, she poisoned her husband. And you think that she's going to try to poison me. Why do you say that? So what you're telling me is that she's been married three times before. And sure, she enjoys the free ride from a check from a husband, but she just has a need to uh, Poison people. Where's the women that's done that before? So, uh, you want the body. You want to dig it up. You want the autopsy. Okay, I'll show you the body if uh, you give me the clearance to get out of here. In time, you know it's got to be in this county somewhere, and I feel that you'll find it. Part of law enforcement today, the way it was, say, uh, 30 years ago, I'm just saying, uh, I felt that, you know, by questioning a suspect and uh, possibly you could uh, look into a person's eyes and tell them whether they were telling the truth or lying, but right now they got DNA. How much difference do you actually think it makes? And or were the old law enforcement uh, years ago was it that really that far behind modern times? How do you feel about it? Well, the, the DNA brought everything up to, up to date as far as proving a person's guilt. So it's a lot better now with the DNA. If it hadn't been for the DNA, everything was sort of standing still. But the DNA has really, it's really bettered everything. And got a lot of people out of prisons that wasn't guilty of what they'd done and they served 15, 20 years and get out. That's pretty great. Officer Lane is caught up with me. It was his son, the sheriff, that was responsible for me being brutalized in jail. But that killer deputy that I eliminated in escaping. It's been a background check on this man. It's been confirmed that uh, he used the law as an excuse to kill. The officer Lane is arrested this man that cut up that woman. The woman that I was accused of killing. The point that I'm getting at, when I escaped from jail, I was on the run. I met up with this woman. Her husband had just died. She hadn't buried him. She wanted me to take his place to get her husband's check. She said that she could forge his name, and I had no choice. 
I mean, I was on the run. What it is, uh, Mr. Howard, as far as Jim Benson, their bodies were found buried under the cement. And through the lab and everything, has been confirmed that both of them had been poisoned. Now, Officer Lane wants uh, this man's uh, body, the woman's husband's body that I was staying with. He feel it might be a link, and it was some food that I'd left behind. I was on the run, and I. Uh, it has been tested to the lab and it has been poisoned. Cause that woman tried to poison me. So I feel no remorse about it and due to the way that Mr. Lane's uh, son treated me in jail, he's gonna give me a chance to escape. 